Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. Thanks for joining us this Tuesday evening for 18 News at 6. After months of back and forth and talks of potential demolition, there are new developments around the future of First Arena in downtown Elmira. The Shimon County IDA has reached a new lease agreement with a new building operator. Our 18 News reporter Tara Lynch has been covering this story throughout the day. She joins us now outside the arena in downtown Elmira with more on what's to come. Good evening, Tara. Zach, good evening. I am here in downtown Elmira. The seats right behind me at First Arena, they will be filled very soon. When? We aren't entirely sure. The Shimon County IDA and Tadris Donner Sports and Entertainment coming to an agreement today on a new lease. An unspecified amount of time for that lease, though. Who is the new tenant here at First Arena? Well, here's what we know so far. These individuals bring a great deal of expertise, uh, a great deal of knowledge, and a great deal of experience. Who is Tadros Donner Sports and Entertainment? A simple Google search does not pull up any information on the LLC. 18 News confirmed Steve Donner is a principal on the deal. He's the former Rochester Amherst owner and founding member of the Tampa Bay Lightning in the NHL. Michael Tadros Jr. is the other principal, who is a Hollywood producer. According to his IMDb page, he worked as an assistant director on I Am Legend with Will Smith. Steve Donner told 18 News, quote, we have put together a team with the arena and the rec arena as our sole focus, which is good for the community. The details of the lease, still unknown. What we do know is Tadras Donner Sports and Entertainment will operate the arena once the lease is signed. The multi-event facility could feature sports, entertainment, concerts, and yes, even this. <laughs> yes, hockey will be returning. Earlier this month, 18 News reported the building was said to be in, quote, satisfactory condition with minimal items that could be considered critical in nature. This was from the Hunt Engineers Facility Assessment. The deep dive into the arena's condition followed a July meeting where the CCIDA considered options for the structure after they were unable to come to new lease terms with Enforcer's owner, Robbie Nichols. Roman says he is ready to fill the stands. I am very, very excited to have this deal. Um, this, to me, brings um, new life into the arena. Now, this new deal was reached earlier today at an IDA meeting now Tuesday morning. Now, the IDA actually violated open meeting laws here in New York State, which say that there needs to be public notice given for these meetings to the media and put in a public forum 72 hours ahead of the meeting. No notice was provided, and the IDA says that this was due to a clerical error. As for next steps for First Arena, next Wednesday, December 1st, there will be a press conference here with members of the IDA as well as Tadras Donner Sports and Entertainment. We will have more details on that meeting next week. For now, live in downtown Elmira, Tara Lynch, 18 News. Zach, back over to you. All right, thank you so much, Tara, for that report tonight. This is a developing story, so stay with 18 News, both on air and online at mytwintiers.com as we continue to follow this new lease deal.